mean, I think Austin's a great place to, to open the movie and premiere the movie because it uh, has a spirit of, you know, fun here, but also there's always creativity kind of laced within that. And I feel like this movie is that. It's fun, but also artistic in all the right ways. And so it's perfect. A lot of people sort of think of it as space travel, but it's not really space travel. We're, we're stuck in a sort of a position and something comes to us and boards our ship that is very unique and terrifying because we don't know exactly what it is and, and it's trying to survive and there's nothing scarier than something that's just trying to survive and knows a little more than you do. So um, I think people love that. People love, love a claustrophobic thriller too. It's, Hitchcock started doing it and now it's, you know, it's been around forever. Well, I think this is a total experience, an immersive experience of like, the, I mean, the whole way the movie was shot and the experience of watching it up on a big screen will be absolutely different than any other way you can experience it. I mean, it's the sound and the visual effects and just the monster itself is pretty incredible. On top of that, you know, you can see our already enormous weird heads yeah. even bigger. So, the heads are massive, sometimes up to 60 feet, depending I'm on IMAX. Metaphorically, because yeah. our egos are out of control. Out of control. Like literally, we're, our actual egos are like not able to. His writer is a novel. It's an actual novel. For but it's a beautiful novel, beautifully written. What I loved about this film is we take something from its natural habitat, we lock it behind firewall after firewall, and then we prod it, we provoke it, and gradually create what might become our own disaster which is kind of what we humans do, isn't it? And we try and control what we don't understand. It's still an incredibly intense thriller and dynamic and people's choices. What is my reactions to your actions? The way you might see this creature might not be the way I see this creature. And I think for my character, because she is so organized and she's a cross of T, daughter of I, but what happens when you break down these borders? Who do you actually become? It's thrilling, it's exciting, it is philosophical. You can see it from so many angles. It's great. It's one of those movies where you want to go to a movie and you walk out and go, I was genuinely scared. I covered my hands, threw my fingers and I loved it. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> It's based in reality, you know, this is a reality that could happen tomorrow and we, we know these cells, we've seen it, we've drawn them when we were kids and we're like, oh, this is it, this is not the end, it's not the end product, it's not an, a figment of uh, a director or a, a producer or a writer's imagination, we're starting from the basis of science and that's real. I'm really, really excited about the whole premiere and being here, it's just lovely. So I've worked with a crew that is the top of their game, then work with a cast at the top of the game. Rebecca Ferguson, such a beautiful actress who just was my support and really helped me through things if everything was going wrong. And, and having people like Jake and Ryan who just know everything and been in the business for such a long time, they kind of kept pushing me and pushed me to, they really had A stars. I wanted to get an A star star, so I was working on that level. I'm so excited to have a premiere here and then it's a good reunion with the other cast on the earth <laughs> so I'm so happy to be here the script was great and the Daniel the director has a mm, clear vision for each character and the, each scenes so he knows you know what is normal what is special so his judge was so clear the, his direction was so specific and understandable so he created this atmosphere in the film with the whole cast and crew first of all I'm excited and for me, it's a big honor to be part of this huge project. And I, I think I still don't believe that I'm in this project. It'll be intense, really psychological, and with, you know, with this feeling of truth. I think it doesn't let up. You know, it grabs you by the throat and it doesn't stop. I think what's interesting with the creature is that uh, he's uh, changing 
and he adapts to, to his circumstances, and he's intelligent, and he might perceive things more than you, than you would think. And I think there's an intelligence there that you would not expect and that you haven't seen before. It's exciting to show the movie for movie fans, you know? That's what's so, so nice of showing it at a, at a festival, is people that adore movies. This is why we do it, as we say. Uh, it's, this is the best moment for us that exists, seeing, seeing uh, your movie in front of this rabid South by Southwest Film Festival audience. There's nothing better. Oh, man, so exciting. Again, to see it come to life, literally life come to life, it's just thrilling for us. And, and we're so proud of the movie, the way it turned out. Daniel and all the actors were so brilliant and brought it to life in a way that even exceeded our expectations. There's very little respite. You don't have much time to sit back and get a breather. There are very few moments in the movie where it's not propelling itself forward, where our characters don't go from being in the frying pan to being in the fire. And that, I think, is just that relentlessness really takes its toll on, an audi on the audience in a good way. I think we really delved into nature and into kind of the biology of how something like this would work. And, and, uh, and it, man, it's, it's scary and terrifying and very real. It's amazing. I mean, obviously, to be able to, you know, uh, you know, the closing night of South by Southwest is a huge honor. A lot of amazing movies have been here, and we're uh, we're excited to be a part of it. It's an edge of your seat roller coaster ride that is truly a theatrical experience. We built, uh, you know, the cast is amazing. Uh, the, the movie literally grabs you from once the turn happens and doesn't ever let you go. And it is a large screen experience. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we we built a full replica of the ISS on set, shot everything practically, and it's something you've never seen before. One of the things that we absolutely love uh, love about the creature in this movie is he starts off as something who, somebody who is completely innocent. When you when you first look at him, you you know it's literally something that represents hope and beauty and very much what uh, uh, what Hugh Derry's character thinks the possibility of, of this new life could be. And then it's really the fun of taking that dream and watching it turn into a horrible nightmare that you uh, that 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 literally you don't want anywhere near you.